I want to check back in with Marisol Castro right now in the Bronx, where she is showing us more of the new Choco Bar Cortez in the Mott Haven section. We love the sound of this, and we have some delicious chocolate here. We do, and we love the details of this collaboration I, they have listen, with a friend I of the show, Marisol. Mm. That's right. I told you guys I would hook y'all up. I delivered. Yes, we are in Mott Haven, court of 134th and Alexander, at the one and only Chocobar Cortez. Joining me is Carlos, the proprietor here. So we started the show with food, libations, but the hot chocolate is really what puts you on the map, yes? That's correct. It's, um, you know, what we're known for, that hot chocolate that your grandmother, your mother made for you, and now you can come enjoy it here. So for those of you who don't know, you grew up with the quesito and the chocolate, yes? Yes, that's correct. So, so for viewers that don't know this, tell, us, tell, tell everyone why this is such a delicious, delectable Puerto Rican way of having your hot chocolate. Well, you take your hot chocolate and you add a little cube of uh, cheddar cheese, yeah. and it just adds delicious creaminess, meltiness, and just a unique kind of flavor combination yeah. that we've been enjoying in Puerto Rico for you know, yeah. 90 years and, or, or and yeah, since, the time, since the time before time, we invented sweet savory before sweet savory was a thing. We did, um, we did. Salute! I'm gonna taste a little bit. I'm gonna be an animal and not even mix it up. Mm. Very important. Do you make it with leche, milk, or water? Milk. Don't be ridiculous, right? Yeah, don't be <laughs> ridiculous, but you can also make it with oat milk or your, you know, uh, alternative milk of choice. Fantastic. So we're in this little nook of the coffee bar. So this is a f complete full bar and restaurant. And then you walk over, same shop, but this is the coffee shop for folks, passersby who want to just come and grab their coffee. I've actually seen a couple of neighbors stop by. But this nook is important because you've collaborated with our good friend, Edgardo who is the creator of La Borinquena. So talk to me about this collaboration, why it was important, especially to include with the opening of this shop. Absolutely. So Edgardo and I had been talking about doing something before the pandemic, but then during the pandemic, we had Black, Black Lives Matter going on, and I felt that we weren't having enough conversations about racism and um, Black Lives Matter in the Latinx community. So I reached out to Edgardo and we decided to collaborate with La Borinquena, of course, because she's an Afro female uh, Puerto Rican superhero. And Whose name happens to be Marisol, but continue. That is, <laughs> yes, that is her name. And uh, so we created this uh, collaboration where we have her featured on our chocolate bars. And of course, she fights against racism. She fights against social injustice and she fights against um, environmental destruction. But with La Borinquena, she also tells the history of our people and our island and the diaspora. So it was the perfect way to also tell the story of our company. A lot of people know our hot chocolate, they know the yellow bar, they know the delicious, you know, mixed with cheese, right. but they don't know everything that's behind this company. Right. And so now through the Borinquena, the special edition bars, there's a comic book on the inside of the wrapper mm -hmm. that tells a little bit of the story of the, of the company, where the cacao comes from, how chocolate is made, a little bit of a history of the founder, about our foundation, which I'll tell you a little bit more about. This is what I love about this, and Andrew, pan up and show some of the beautiful artwork of La Borinquena, because you come in here, first of all, congratulations, coming to the neighborhood. You just had your ribbon cutting last Friday, but you come here for, for delicious food, and you get a little bit of a history lesson. Was that part of the entire design? Because I feel like when you go to San Juan, and you go to the shop there, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, I mean, that's the idea. Again, this is another version of us trying to tell our story and tell uh, the world, you know, everything that our, my family and this company has been doing for so long. We make delicious chocolate, but we're also part of the culture of being a Puerto, being Puerto Rican, being Dominican. It's, it's part of who we are. Yeah. And so we, we need to continue that tradition and evolve it as well. I got to tell you, so if you're just joining the show, he was on his way to become a doctor, then got his MBA. You are the youngest. You have two older brothers. That's right. And I'm glad you're not a doctor. Doctors are great, but I'm glad I'm not a doctor <laughs> either. <laughs> um, so I know you can't hear them, but our anchors all have some of this delicious chocolate caliente, you guys. Yes. Are you sipping from your mug? Yes, yes we are. How's yes, it going? Yes, and this oh. is great and swag. What's the verdict? Yeah. The mugs are gorgeous. And the I chocolate is delicious. You got some swag. So, mm. Yes. That's why we got the, we act the actual bar that yeah. you shave down into, into the milk. 
And I Very love nice. all the attention mm -hmm. to detail that the While you guys the, the are the doing this. Oh, yeah. Has it's the fantastic. While you guys are doing that, tell us quickly, Carlos, about the foundation. So, Fundación Cortés, our mission is to educate and inspire with our passion for the arts of the Caribbean. Oh. And we have a exhibit space in Old San Juan, two floors. So Currently, one of the exhibit uh, spaces is for La Borinquena, so you can go there and learn more about how La Borinquena was created. Uh, but the work that we do at the, at the foundation is primarily with kids, but also with adults, um, mostly exposing children to the power of the arts, because art is a superpower. And we don't have enough of that uh, educational support for our kids in Puerto Rico. So, you know, because we are also passionate about art historically, um, you know, that was our way of giving back to the community by celebrating, again, who we are through Very art. Very nice. I love it. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you for this delicious chocolate caliente. You guys, come down. Yeah. What are the hours of operation you're open this whole week? Currently, we're opening uh, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. This Saturday, Christmas uh, Day, will be closed. Sunday will be open 10 to 4. You heard it here first. Run, don't walk. Get here soon because I may devour everything that comes I know. Out of this we're kitchen. devouring it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Best, best swag day on the set by far.